what's he what's he done here? Well, you were wondering about the underarm serve earlier, Miles. Eight years after your first impression, eight years after your first impression. Well, it was uh, it was difficult because, like you said, I didn't play match for, for eight years, and I could feel that even if he was playing good and solid tennis from the baseline, I've, uh, I was a little bit uh, unsure what really to do with the ball. So. And no wonder they're on their feet, they should be. It's incredible. <laughs> Amazing stuff. Jackson wins the Rolex Paris Masters. And in doing so, qualifies Five, seven, for the Nito ATP World Tour Finals in London. What a day of tennis for the likeable American. And he'll be taking a seat on the train or the plane, whichever way he decides to go to London for the Nito ATP Tour Finals. Oh, it's another fine pickup, and Ruben. His shoe. <laughs> My word. Well, we just said about the sliding. 
Uh, I'm not really that surprised that he's he's defeated his trainer. <laughs> I mean, have you ever seen it? A tennis shoe like that? That is incredible. Uh, it's absolutely brilliant. I hope he's got a spare pair of shoes in his locker, otherwise he's off. Did you drop the ball? Yeah. He dropped the ball on court. The ball kick at the back of the court and dropped the ball on court. Or he did it, we need to replay the point. It was something that happened on court. Yep. Ladies and gentlemen, the ball kick dropped the ball on the back of the court. Did. First of all, I want to apologize for the situation at the tie break. I mean, the ball boy dropped the ball, so, you know, it's, it's in the rules that we have to play replay the point. I'm not sure why you're all booing, because he's telling the truth. The ball boy did move across the court and it disrupted play, and those are the rules. So uh, I think you have to be a little bit more respectful. Um, I apologize to Roger at the net already. He, he told me that, I mean, it's okay, and, you know, it's obviously in the rules like that. I want to apologize to the crowd as well. I mean, obviously, there's a lot of Roger fans here, and, you know, as he deserves, he, he should, from what he's achieved and what kind of guy he is, he should have the, the most fans in the world. And obviously, here in London, especially, how much history he has here. Um, you know, the, the crowd has been amazing. The crowd has been absolutely fair the whole match. Um, again, I'm, I'm very, I'm very sorry that this happened. I didn't, I didn't mean to upset anybody. Um, I mean, that's that's all I can say. Sorry. Absolutely ideal position he's in. Three match points on his opponent's set. Oh, and a double fault call. It's all over. Oh, wait a minute. No, no, no. It's not over. Roddick is giving him the serve and saving Fergus Murphy the necessity of leaving the chair. So they'll play a let. 20-40. In fact, 15, 14. he's given him the point. Grazie. Well, he might. Goodness me, what an ace. <laughs> what a game this is. He's held his sir. Would you believe it? Four match points have come and gone. Yes, he's done it. Well, an extraordinary match to witness. Won in the end by Vadasco, who steeled his nerve when he had to.
from one great one to one great performance. He needs to go around and kiss every single person in this stadium. <laughs> well, there we go. Let's just, uh, yeah, let's carry on. Oh, that's good skill. Look at this. <laughs> Fabulous. Oh, he spoilt it. Well, France are the world champions. They are. And they're going well in the Women's World Cup as well. <laughs> but hang on a minute, we're in Germany. <laughs> That's almost impudent, isn't it? But great spontaneity and the crowd absolutely loving it. Worth another watch. Completely loses his racket and then thinks, why not? Lefty yeah, first. Yeah, Songa has to respond and he does well here. 30. But 